टॉपिक इज अबाउट आई ओ सी इनवर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल वॉट यार आई ओ सी इट मीन्स वॉट इनवर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल नाउ जस्ट रीड दिस वॉट इज दिस टर्म दिस टर्म इज रिटेन एज लाइक इनवर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल ओके सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाई दिस वॉट इज द जनरल मीनिंग ऑफ इन्वर्जन अरे इन हिंदी इन्वर्जन मीन्स उलट फेर कर देना पलट देना किसी और को दे देना कंट्रोल ओके दैट्स वॉट इट इज सेंग राइट नाउ इन वर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल सो एक्चुअली वेन यू गिव कंट्रोल ऑफ समथिंग इन टू अन अदर हैंड दैट इज लाइक यू इन्वर्टेड योर कंट्रोल टू सम वन एल्स अरे सपोज यू आर ड्राइविंग कार ओके यू हैव टू रीच टू योर होम फ्रॉम योर ऑफिस ओके आई एम डिजाइनिंग अ वेरी बैड कार बट आई एम गोइंग टू टीच दिस इन वर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल सो यू वॉन्ट टू ड्राइव दिस कार ओके यू हैव टू ड्राइव टू रीच टू योर होम ओके दिस इज योर कार लेट्स ए वेरी बैड इन डिजाइनिंग विथ माउस कार सो इफ यू ड्राइव इट विल इफ यू ड्राइव बाई योर सेल्फ इट मीन्स यू आर कंट्रोलिंग इट राइट यू आर ड्राइविंग नाउ इफ यू हैव टू विजिट लेट से दिस इज द ऑफिस यू हैव टू विजिट द ऑफिस सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज यू कैन बुक ओला ओबर राइट ओला ओबर यू डोंट नीड टू ड्राइव राइट अगेन यू डोंट नीड ना सो हियर वॉट यू आर डूइंग यू आर जस्ट इन्वर्टिंग योर कंट्रोल्स इट मीन्स हियर आई कैन से योर ओला ओबर ड्राइवर ओला ओबर ड्राइवर is driving now the subject that you are dependent upon that your car now your dependency gets transferred from you to your ola driver or uber driver right so here you are you can say that i you are inverting the control inverting means ulat fer karna kuch badal dena theek so you are inverting the control of the car to the ola uber driver okay so the same way we are going to learn about this inversion of control okay so first of all we will code today we will totally learn practicals and see the things okay not too much theory so first of all I, okay i will search i will go to the index of a spring release slash org this will be and we will download the required jar files because the spring framework comes into the jar files na that it will be inside a zip file and we will extract that and will use in our project okay so i will just go below 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 and will find 5.3.9 is the very stable version right now i'll just click it and look dist dot zip docs dot zip whatever there are too much of things i will just go to dist dot zip it is getting just downloaded inside my pc let's just see it okay till then we will open a spring tool suit okay you have a spring tool suit already installed okay if you don't have just download and then we'll choose go to the spring tools and download accordingly right and if you have then it's okay but i'm telling for them because this is getting recorded now they will have to they go on so here you can download from according to your system now after downloading we'll just don't do anything we'll just open it and okay it is here so what we'll do here i will create i will first of all look i am into a work space recent work spaces so i am going to create a new work space inside e or i can yeah inside e let's say e and i will just go here because wherever this folder is selected your project will uh, launch there and your project will like present there i'll just go here and uh, we'll click on a start this is my like this is my i have installed some uh, one plugin that's why it is showing in this color maybe your maybe some another right so you just go to the work spaces okay work spaces now here everything is there now just click on launch 
it will be open just it will take time let's see our project has already been downloaded so I will go to download file and cut that I'll go to download and will cut it and go to the projects and go to the projects and then and then 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 where 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 uh, a spring 9 9 spring class I will just paste it here and let it just paste okay now I'll just right click and extract all it will contain all the jar files maybe you are working with uh, may 1 but look this is the core things because when we use may 1 all things happen same like we we are going to extract this now so all the things came from the extracted ones so you, whether you use may 1 or you use uh, uh, gradle but the core intention is to present the jar files inside your project okay through the class path so we will inject all the required jar files to our class path in the project because ki we need because this is available in form of jars now yeah spring itself a spring the whole spring framework is available in the form of jar files and inside that jar files packages are there and inside that packages enums classes abstract classes interfaces are there right so this is the simple meaning that's why we are extracting it once it get extracted uh, we'll continue just see first of all let's open it and just close one because I had just on uh, mistake STS spring tool suit so look how I will create the project and things I will simply create you, you can create a new a spring a starter project okay here also by they will like a spring project will be created but I don't want to create like this I will just create a simple Java project look here create a Java project I will name it let's say IOC container IOC tute IOC tutorial I am just using this uh, name IOC tute it will be present here okay I am just clicking in next Java 11 is selected make sure Java 8 1.8 or Java 11 is created okay we will just finish it and no I don't want to create a module please don't create it I don't want that module okay we have right now only source folder now next let's see whether our things get extracted no still it is getting extracted just let's wait okay for a few minutes to get it extract leave that okay so uh, I have already extracted the older version okay I'm using it you use the latest version after downloading and extracting them okay we don't want to waste time that's why we are going with the old one so i will just go to this extracted folder and it will contain look it will containing what are 5.3.9 not this one i have another extracted older version so i will just go to the projects and uh, go to the spring framework and i'll just have that 5.2 point release dot dist i will go to release folder inside that I have libs folder it means it has libraries right you just see here every jar file is presented here okay every jar file is presented here see a spring AOP a spring look now a study just very carefully here too many jar files are there now see one is a spring AOP dot release dot jar second one is the Java doc second one is the third one is sources right you can you can unmute unmute that not a problem so here just listen we require this file not these two because this this java doc contains all the documentation okay and this sources contains all the source code and this one only contains the real jar files the real packages which we have to work dot java classes okay so dot java file is present here and this contains the html documentation about this aop this will contain the source code which is written fine so we need this dot release dot jar only not the second one okay so 
we will inject into our project so i will right click here inside your project explorer right click on ioc tube and i will go to properties we'll go to java build path and we'll move to libraries and then go to the class path and then add external jars fine after going here bring framework 2.9 i will go 2.9 libraries but look here too much too much right too much jar files are present here but we will only choose the required ones so for the spring core for the right now as our purpose which is required you are just look a spring b first of all we will just uh, go and op uh, select a spring context a spring beans like that okay first of all we have a spring beans so where is a spring bin you can just see uh, a spring beans it is a a and like this look a spring beans is here but we don't want this java doc or this sources we want which one this one a spring beans release dot jar so i will just select it and okay i am just selected it now again i need a spring context also okay i need a spring context support also okay three very very clearly see here three things here already we need a spring context support we had done we had a spring beans we had a spring context also we need a spring core and a spring expression just see c starts for the c core c o r e look here it is a spring core release dot jar only this one because this will contain only java files fine we will go to a spring expression as well five five things one two three four five we'll just click open and apply and close now this is still not enough i have to download one more file which is name as common logging dot jar what will download it go to download apache common logging and download it from there one more file common logging dot jar okay here just download the bean zip this one okay when you just click it when you just click it look it gets downloaded so how now next what a step is ours we'll just go to the downloaded ones downloads we'll just cut it i will just cut it and it okay and we'll extract it also it will not contain too much time uh, too much things it is just easy we'll just let it happen i'll be just done so we have common loggings here now see common loggings and here common logging dot jar is there right we also need that not the java doc this one okay now we'll go again do the same thing like go to right click here properties and build path and again class path add external jars and we'll go to direct this folder common loggings bean this common logging dot jar present open and apply and close everything clear right understand it very clearly now what i'm going to do i'm going to create a project our first project to learn about a spring ioc what is ioc we are going to learn about this project and then we will learn about that ioc okay so i will create let's say i'm creating new i'm creating a package i'm writing package not like this i will write in com dot com dot uh, let's say coder x ankit dot and let's say the name and that name is like yeah you can write uh you can write okay you can write anything you can write bean or you can write let's say okay app first okay i will create right click here go to new and create interface because i will work with interface and classes both let's say we are going to create some uh project about any e-commerce or whatever okay so let's say we just write uh we just write uh, what i'm creating interface nayar so logistics 
logistics company okay logistics company now this logistics company dot java is interface right so logistics companies that logistics company will have some methods right now let's say like public void uh, let's say are uh, uh, deliver delivery del deliver product deliver orders okay deliver order not orders deliver order like this public void uh, return public void return request return request order return request you can add like this for better readability order return request order return request okay so deliver order and order return request this two or uh, we can add one more thing like here public white uh, check track order status track order okay fine not a problem now here why i'm creating this interface because i will implement this interface through any subclasses or the classes like go to the class and suppose dtdc a famous courier service right okay finish it so this duty dc here i will go and implements i will write implements logistics company because it is logistics company okay so if i go to the logistics company and go here so i need to give the all the definition of the um, methods that is percent percent inside this logistics otherwise it will not work right because this will throw an error i will just go and override all the methods by a single click add unimplemented methods okay look method gets unimplement implemented i will write dummy code just dummy code order rar order is delivered because these are why i am created logistics company interface because these will be common things for a logistics company na deliver order so whether it is duty dc or whether it is blue dot or whether it is ecom express or delivery all the companies will have these services na so we suppose we are a very big e-commerce just suppose it we feel it ki we are a very big e-commerce we are using duty dc e-commerce and etc c procket and whatever it is okay so here the same thing we are doing so we will write deliver order we will write re order return request so order return request let's say out return request accepted okay accepted we have already seen these things inside application when we are using out check order status right here let's say location is coming some location i'm just writing location only right okay fine this is till here right now everything is okay so okay just see now dtdc is here okay not a problem here uh i am working my company is working with more things and more other also because our company is too large just think we are using ship rocket ship rocket so this will implement again the same thing implements what yaar logistics company implement or not so it will write with their terms and condition and their code right will again go and here i will write sort delivered order delivered delivered by order delivered by ship rocket let's use the name because when we run we will have to make sure that oh it is coming from the ship rocket okay sort return request has been accepted by ship rocket 
ओके सिप कट हियर आल्सो साउट सिप रॉकेट ऑर्डर स्टेटस इज ऑर्डर स्टेटस इज एट इज लेट्स हियर आल्सो सम लोकेशन आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग ओके सिप रॉकेट इट इज डी टू डी सी ना डी टी डी सी ऑर्डर आई एम यूजिंग द वर्ड ऑल्सो डी टी डी सी एंड डी टी डी सी ओके सिप रॉकेट इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट लॉजिस्टिक कंपनी इज ओके फाइन नाउ वेन आई एम वर्किंग विथ माई कोड like this when i'm just going and writing my app my app so to work with to work with ship rocket do i need to create ship rocket object or not simple simple core java concept do i need to create core this one ship rocket object or not or do i need to create dtdc no na if only i am working with dtdc then on dtdc then working with ship rocket then ship rocket are it simple na getting my you are getting this points na so suppose i created ship rocket not like that inside the main method ship rocket ship rocket ship rocket equal to new ship rocket okay here fine not a problem i will create ship rocket dot deliver order so it will deliver the order ship rocket ship rocket dot ship rocket dot ship rocket dot ship rocket dot check order status right order status order deliver order track order track order is here okay it will run run it is running just wait okay look it is running order delivered by ship rocket ship rocket order a status is location whatever location it will be so can you visualize it in this way logics company will be working like this or any e-commerce store will having some sets of code okay because they are using different different companies not a single company many companies right so every time they will write like this uh, i mean they have written the code and to write the work with they will create another another uh, this object and work that okay suppose ship rocket was on holiday on what day is tuesday ship rocket is holiday ship rocket was on leave so now the whatever order gets today inside the flip cart everything will be sent by dtdc so in our code dtdc object needs to be created in order to work with dtdc right i will write dtdc dot deliver order so it will deliver the order dtdc dot track status it will track the dtdc order not a problem look but now think you are a developer you can do it but this is a very tightly coupled process now tightly coupled means what yaar whenever whenever you want to change the services do you need to change the source code this is the source code source code means the code right do you need to change the code or not ha ah, so this is tightly coupled because when you are changing the services you need to change the every time and understand there is a cons and what is the cons if you change this whole source code what do you need then suppose your application is running on server aws server in cloud storage any okay anywhere so you need to recompile all the things recompile all the things again make a jar file and that jar file will run inside your server are inside your server only dot jar file is getting run yaar okay if i am explaining this suppose this is your server okay inside here your application e app 
ई कॉमर्स ऐप डॉट जार सम जार फाइल इज देयर विच इज पैक्ड एवरी कोड इज पैक्ड इन टू जार ओके योर एंड दिस विल दिस विल बी रनिंग इन साइड योर सर्वर सर्वर मीन्स यार कंप्यूटर और ए डब्ल्यू एस और क्लाउड स्टोरेज वट एवर यू कैन से समानांतर कंप्यूटर सर्वर सो हियर इट इज रनिंग सो इफ यू चेंज द कोड इफ यू चेंज द कोड डू यू नीड टू अगेन रिकम्पाइल द कोड एंड कीप अप द अपडेटेड वर्सन विच विल कंटेन द डी टी डी सी कोड राइट राइट ना सो हियर हियर राइट नाउ अगेन यू हैव टू डू अगेन यू हैव टू डू ई ऐप न्यू ई ऐप न्यू डॉट जार वॉट एवर न्यू एट दैट पॉइंट ओके डैट जार सो नाउ ई डॉट ई ऐप न्यू डॉट जार टू मेक दिस यू हैव वेन यू हैव टू चेंज द थिंग्स एंड फ्रॉम द डेवलपमेंट ऑल्सो टू द टेस्टिंग ऑल्सो एंड टू द डिप्लॉयमेंट ऑल्सो इट इज क्रिएटिंग प्रॉब्लम्स राइट इट हैज टू means your work will be doubled like from everything from development to deployment again you have to deploy after making it compiling it and building it right <coughs> this is known as tight coupling it means if you change one thing you have to change on multiple things okay here the same thing is happening if you are changing this thing this much of things till the deployment we have to make changes right so this is a head up so every time when we are working with any big project we make it like it is our loosely coupled application how should we try to make our application as loosely coupled application so that when we change some services it not affect any other ones okay right now it is affecting or not it is affecting right okay very fine now just see how these things can be solved okay you said do one thing do one thing just create here not dtdc right logistics company and logistics and here right logistics dot deliver it will again run not a problem logistics this is an alternate to that logistics okay it will again run ship dtdc it is look dtdc is working if you you said kyankit you can change here like ship rocket and i am working with ship rocket now the object is ship rocket but the parent reference is what here this interface type so again it will work again it will work or not core java concept simple right so look ship rocket is working but do i need us to still still am i working with the code or not i am working na but you are the developer but your client suppose you are selling that you are making for another company another uh, man who demands who is trying uh, this project right who is just demanding that project to be live and uh, you are the developer of that project so he said no no i don't know coding i don't want to do this i don't want to touch the source code i i will not touch the code i will not touch the source code you make me such a, a good application that will only i have to change some another there not the source code and it will work because when you uh, touch the source code you have to recompile and reload and redeploy as we seen right here so this is a problem now what how we can do it so look it's very simple now how we can do it we can use a spring framework and it has container a spring framework has ioc container inversion of control container now inversion of control means what yaar are we making the object right now the object management the control of object management is in which hand yaar the developer hand the programmer hand in your hand right now yes or no so we are going to give this control to the spring framework we it means what we are doing can we say that we have inverted our control to the spring framework humne palat diya yaar apne control ko humne de diya usko so this whole process is known as what yaar this principle not a process you can say this principle is known as because we are following some principle here this principle is known as a spring not a spring this principle is known as inversion of control ioc 
ओके आईओ सी सो हाउ हाउ इट विल क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट सो दिस आईओ सी दिस इज द प्रिंसिपल ओके टू मेक योर अप्लीकेशन लूज कपल्ड इट विल नाउ डिपेंडेंट अपॉन द स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क सो टू फॉलो दिस प्रिंसिपल इन वर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल प्रिंसिपल इन अ स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क इट हैज ओन अ स्प्रिंग आई ओ सी कंटेनर स्प्रिंग आई ओ सी कंटेनर इट इज नेम्ड एज वाट यार अ स्प्रिंग आई ओ सी कंटेनर अरे ओला एंड उबर हैव देयर ड्राइवर्स ना तो दिस इज लाइक ड्राइवर ओला उबर ड्राइवर अ स्प्रिंग कंटेनर ही विल ड्राइव द कार फॉर यू ओके सो ही विल मैनेज द ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर यू हु अ स्प्रिंग आई ओ सी कंटेनर एंड यू आर लव क्लियर अबाउट द आई ओ सी कंटेनर कि यू आर जस्ट इन्वर्टिंग द कंट्रोल टू सम वन एल्स राइट नाउ अ स्प्रिंग कंटेनर वी हैव आवर वे आर वॉट अ स्प्रिंग कंटेनर ही विल मैनेज सो वाट वी विल ट्राई टू डू वी विल ट्राई टू डू वी हैव सम ऑब्जेक्ट अ स्मॉल स्मॉल ऑब्जेक्ट्स राइट अ स्मॉल स्मॉल ऑब्जेक्ट दिस सपोज वी हैव ए क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट बी क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट सी क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट C class object, and you can again just compare it with D T D C and C rocket. You can say that this A is C C rocket, B is D T D C, and C one is a uh, blue dot or whatever. Okay. So a spring container will manage the all objects. You don't need to worry about it. Will manage this a spring container? Yeah. Who? Repeat with me. A spring containers. Okay. So how? how you have to tell him you have to tell this spring container are you have to go from one place to another through ola you have to give a address na right the same thing how your spring container will know that you have to create the object of a class your object of b class and c class not directly there is not jadu right so you have to tell it so you in order to tell it what will you use to tell your ola and uber you use google maps inside the ola and uh, uber integrated there right you just pin the location right now so here there is not a that process this is not uh, related to some location so we can't do that right so here we will use configuration what we use here configuration or configuration whatever you say so that configuration will be are configuration is means here setting metadata details details about some another details right so here we will do configuration and we will do xml configuration okay xml so here we will do configuration configuration dot xml okay xml file we will generate one and here i will provide what here i will provide about this class suppose this is a class okay suppose this is b class suppose this is c class c class so we will give details and names to this xml okay xml about this about this and about this also okay getting my points now this xml configuration file will be read by a spring container a spring container will read this okay a spring container this a spring for the object is created that reference id is presented here so how will i use it because this will if this will create the object then i have to use it na then only i will work with the dtdc or c rocket or whatever na yaar object is created but how do i know and how will i work so a spring container will give you a method i already aware with method right and that method name is dot get bin not dot just write get bin okay and here you will pass the name of bin okay id of bin id of bin i will tell you how what okay id of bin so this method will help you to extract that object from this spring container and use it 
वेरी क्लियर वेरी क्लियर गेटिंग गेटिंग इन टू योर हेड और नॉट हाउ 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 गेट बीन यार गेट बीन गेट बीन ओके गेट बीन इज अ मेथड प्रेजेंट इन साइड वेयर यार दिस अ स्प्रिंग कंट्रोलर नो कंट्रोलर कंटेनर अ स्प्रिंग कंटेन ओके सो वी हैव गेट बीन नाउ दिस अ स्प्रिंग कंटेनर हाउ टू प्रैक्टिकली डू दिस बिकॉज दिस इज अ कंटेनर सो इन द कोड दिस अ स्प्रिंग कंटेनर प्रोवाइड्स टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंटेनर टू टाइप्स ऑफ आई ओ सी टू टाइप्स ऑफ अ स्प्रिंग आई ओ सी कंटेनर नाउ ऑलरेडी अवेयर विद द मीनिंग ऑफ आई ओ सी इन भर्जन ऑफ कंट्रोल द सिन बैटिंग द कंट्रोल एंड कंटेनर मीन्स डैट विल हेल्प अस कंटेनर इज लाइक ओनली अ सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम ओके पार्ट ऑफ द सॉफ्टवेयर प्रोग्राम इन साइड द स्प्रिंग फ्रेमवर्क डैट विल हेल्प अस टू डू दीज थिंग्स टू परफॉर्म दिस डिपेंडेंसी मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल थिंग्स ओके सो फर्स्ट वन इज इट गिव्स बीन फैक्ट्री बीन फैक्ट्री द सेकेंड नेम इज अप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्स्ट वी हैव टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ अरे सपोज यू हैव नोकिया थर्टी थ्री टेन मॉडल फोन ओके इट मीन्स इट इज बेसिक फोन द ब्लैक एंड वाइट फोन ऑफ नोकिया एंड हियर यू हैव एंड्रॉयड फोन वन प्लस नाइन वन प्लस एट सो हियर दिस हैव एडवांस फीचर्स एडवांस फीचर्स सो द सेम थिंग इट हैज सेम थिंग यार कि बीन फैक्ट्री इज बेसिक फीचर्स दे विल प्रोवाइड द बेसिक फीचर बट एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्ट हैज सम एडवांस फीचर ऑल्सो ओके ओनली द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्स्ट इज द इज एक्सटेंडिंग दिस बीन फैक्ट्री ऑल्सो सो इट मीन्स दिस एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्स्ट विल हैव सम फीचर ऑफ बीन फैक्ट्री एज वेल एज अदर एडवांस फीचर्स अरे सेम वे इफ यू हैव ओल्ड फोन्स ओल्ड ब्लैक एंड वाइट फोन ब्लैक एंड वाइट फोन्स एंड देन यू हैव अ स्मार्ट फोन कैन यू डाइल एंड टॉक टू एनी पर्सन विथ योर ओल्ड ब्लैक एंड वाइट फोन और नॉट यस और नो यस कैन यू डू द सेम थिंग हियर ऑल्सो राइट कैन यू यूज व्हाट्सएप हियर नो बट कैन यू यूज व्हाट्सएप इन साइड द स्मार्ट फोन यस इट मीन्स a smartphone can do whatever this old black and white phone can do and other things also so i can say that a smartphone has advanced features also na so a smartphone here also application context can do whatever bin factory can do but it has some as advanced features also okay so how i will create the container how i will execute the container and work with the container so first of all you have to choose which one do you want so in the industry two days these days a spring uh, this one a spring container application context is too much popular which one is popular no actually popular is both but two days most people are using a spring application context okay so we will be using this and application context is how can we make how can we execute so application context this is an interface also yaar this is what yaar interface docs dot io and just see it is na interface application context right so we cannot make the object it means we cannot use the application context directly because interface object is not created na yaar only class object is created right so we will create some classes which will implement application context okay so you can find it here all known implementing classes we are using xml configuration here what we are using here xml configuration so just see some class is present here xml class path exception Uh, exception i said xml class path application context look when you click it look here implemented interfaces read here and just see just see application context is present or not 
so it is this class is implementing application context or not so if i make the object of a class path xml application context our work will be done or not right so we will create the object of class path xml application context and our container will be ready so how to execute our container class path xml application context because why why class path i am choosing are because i will keep this configuration.xml inside my class path of java okay of jab of our project simple meaning boss so let's try and create that i will go here and will remove everything okay and we will create new xml xml look as xml application context path or or here what it gets or oh, insert one minute oh, if n okay just explore it ha huh. new what was the name class path xml application context right just write press c or just c class path xml class path xml xml application context look it is presented here right okay i will just go here now i can can i give like this application context 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 dot equal to because this is interface so i can keep in the this reference because this class is implementing this one right fine na are it it is simple na boss we can do ha huh, this is core java concept that's why i said if you are learning anything greater anything above core java first of all be very clear with the core java because now it will be easier to understand the things right so now just see inside this constructor inside this class path xml context this is our container here right now this is the this is one uh, one of the type of the container fine so it needs what here i had explained this ioc container needs what configuration so i will give a configuration inside this parameter like parameter will go and as a string i will pass the url like let's say let's say uh, uh you can say whatever configuration dot xml let's say config dot xml okay but i haven't created config dot xml right now right so i will go to source dot and will create new and will create other choose other and write xml xml file okay or go to next p here and write the same name which will give here okay or whatever name you are giving here just type the same name here okay i am making it same config dot xml finish it okay go to the source because i don't want to code just remove everything okay now i will one minute hello hello i am working hello hello are i cannot talk right now i am working bye some friend is there okay <clears throat> okay so just see here ha so here how i will configure these things how i will give these things so i will tell this xml are xml are a spring container i am giving you a class with bean because i already explained you a spring beans 
that class whose object is managed by a spring container right remembering so our object is getting managed these objects na by a spring ioc container so these are beans na these are said to be what here beans so to treat these classes these classes as beans inside this configuration file i will write like this bean will write class equal to which class here to dtdc okay here like this but this is not complete because here i will write the complete here i will write complete name of the class how can i find the quali fully qualified name that is known as fully qualified name just go to the dtdc right click and copy qualified name here it is copy qualified name click it and go here and just remove this and save it okay uh too much of things is coming but we don't need it like that fully qualified name with address it is also coming we don't need the address so 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 we can do we can do is there any more option okay not more option so remove this we don't type it like that we will only type it like that the fully qualified means with com dot it is present inside coder x ankit dot app dot then what is the name of your dtdc like this okay like this so our bin is now configured but still we have something left this is the class but here look if this c is class a is class b is class so how to know that this a is a we have to refer some array ankit 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 maybe too many things present inside the same class ankit 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 student we can configure it through the, we can identify through the roll number and registration number or id number right i will give this beans an id each bean an id so i will write id equal to and whatever i can write but i don't write whatever because i am a good programmer okay so we will write what here dtdc like this short thing okay bean this bean is now configured boss nothing else okay but still right now the configuration is not correct because we haven't done 100% every right code inside the configuration the very basic thing that is required for the configuration we have done but still we need some things and that is what here we will go here and we'll put beans okay and here xsd will be written xml a schema definition what year xml a schema definition but i will tell you later about the xml a schema definition because we are going to learn about ioc right now na so a schema based configuration will click it and copy paste it okay just see it just see and just copy it okay copy it copy it and paste it here paste here not two times only one time so bean definitions here it is present now so i will just cut this bean and paste it here under the bean stack under which stack bean stack now everything gets configured fine just check it go to my app now you i, I was saying ki our spring container will itself make the object of this dtd after reading this configuration file right i said so if object is made constructor is called or not called so if i make a constructor here dtdc dtdc you know na about the constructor concept are it it gets called whenever 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 your object is created right here shout let's say dt dc object is created are it will when run here only it will run 
when object is created if it means this is our proof when this code sees out into our console it is get printed inside control console it means object is created right so let's you see it so we had configured the bin okay everything we had done correctly okay and okay now let's see our things get loaded or not but first of all go to the my app and just write here sout because here i will write configuration loaded and as soon as the configuration get loaded into the memory and everything is right our object is created by the spring container which we have created here a spring container is here but we are not creating object itself by us right now our spring container will do it and if a spring container will create the object of this bean which we are giving here which what we are giving dtdc so if it get created then constructor get calls or not yes or no yes so just see i will just click and run it today's look dtdc object is create creator i had written <laughs> Okay, I will just go to the data. Is it? So start created. So it it is the proof that our object is created because constructor is running without using the new keyword. Can you see it now? Have you ever used new keyword? No. Yes. Uh, they are not attending that classes now today. Are and they will say that today is very important class. You are alone just here. No problem. I will give the re the recording, but the live class feels different. Yeah. right okay so dtdc object is created first of all here my app this line gets executed that's why the first it is coming and the second one configuration loaded coming now are you satisfied with this answer ki a spring container itself create the object of the bean that is why it is known as bean because everything whatever it is created like this one okay now now just see here what i will do i will go to my app here and write here now i suppose i want to use one what dtdc because dtdc is created inside the container spring container an object like this here like this naming as keeping as dtdc as its bean id is created inside this fine and to use this object to use this object what i am using here get bean method okay so you can see that just go to the class path exception exception uh, no, always i'm saying exception yeah sorry application context class path xml application context or you can go through the its it's it's application context because this is our what your application context is our container na this interface right so it has class uh, sorry it has method and name what your get bean right let's search it somewhere it is present get bean get bean get bean, get bean. look it is here get bean Let's check it we have the get in return the bean instance that uniquely matches the given object type return karega usi bean ke instance ko instance matlab what that is really existing in the memory right to ye usi instance matlab object bhi to ye return karega this will return the bean object that is uniquely matches do match karega us unique object type se if any agar koi aisa hota hai to okay and here class required type we can pass here so it is present where here inside the application context so how can i use what what line i can should write can you can you try to say or explain yes very clear very clear you are going very well context dot what get bean right see get bean is here i will pass the id as its parameter or argument and what is the id i have passed look dtdc and if it didn't match if will it will not give us okay so it will give us only ttdc right okay working so our object is now extracted 
but but again if this object is getting extracted it is which kind of object is here data dc type fine na data dc type object na not c bracket na so can i hold into data dc type variable data dc data dc equal to data dc can i write like this ha so if i write like this i have to type cast the object type casting is it means whatever this object is giving us returning us i have to array same thing same thing same thing understand this real time example when you have to just keep your sugar inside the sugar box or container in the kitchen do you use salt one or sugar one sugar box if you do through if you exchange the sugar with the salt box or the container your mummy will give thappad and thappad right same thing is here yaar if we this object this get bin is returning what kind of object yaar data dc na so i can only keep inside why here data dc type variable so data dc data dc this this variable is of which type data dc and will type cast this return object टाइप कास्टिंग मीन्स यार बस टाइप कास्ट करना सो चेंज द ऑब्जेक्ट फ्रॉम वन टाइप टू अनदर सो वॉट एवर दैट इज कमिंग आई विल चेंज इन टू डी टी डी सी बिकॉज दैट डी टी डी सी इज कमिंग ओके नाउ इफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड दिस डी टी डी सी कैन आई कॉल द मेथड्स और नॉट कैन आई कॉल द मेथड्स प्रेजेंट और नॉट तो डी टी डी सी डॉट लुक डिलीवर ऑर्डर इट इज सोइंग ना डी टी डी सी डॉट वॉट यार ट्रैक ऑर्डर राइट डी टी डी सी डॉट ट्रैक ऑर्डर ओके प्रेजेंटिंग नाउ अगेन रन इट लुक एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन और नॉट या डी टी डी सी ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड वेन दिस वन इज रनिंग देन आवर नाइन दिस वन इज कमिंग आउट देन डी टी डी सी ऑब्जेक्ट गेट इन टू दट दिस डी टी डी सी वेरिएबल देन डिलीवर ऑर्डर रनिंग देन ट्रैक ऑर्डर इज रनिंग राइट it means we have delegated our work of maintaining object from us to where application context and this application context is nothing but what are this is what are a spring container na you have to tell so a application context is a type of what Applic uh, a spring container itself so inversion of control is doing through inversion of control container that's why a spring ioc concept is there we are delegating our work we are in in inverting our workload to the spring container itself are we using new keyword anywhere no na very well so it gets work right okay you said fine but when we have to work with c rocket again we need to change here na again we need to change here because c rocket i have to i have to write here I, like this when we have to change this that so i will have to write c rocket i will write c rocket it means this time which object is getting created c rocket let's change here also c rocket id so will it find with dtdc name no it will give error so just erase this line and erase this line save it it will give you error or not sorry not an error because you are uh, right now we are not working with that if you work only then it will give error na because object is getting created everything is fine right if you just uh, uh, here do what object is created but now right now our constructor is not showing because inside the ship rocket are we making our own constructor or compiler itself plug in the constructor ha huh? are we making here the constructor or co compiler itself is giving the constructor look compiler is giving so if compiler is giving then it will run but it will not write the code by yourself na yaar if we give only then it means our object is created but it is not showing because our constructor is not present so uh, when we write something like c rocket it is again the proof that our constructor our object is created yes or no repeat with me 
ओके गो हियर साउट सिप रॉकेट ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड फाइन नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम हियर गो हियर एंड जस्ट रन इट लुक सिप रॉकेट ऑब्जेक्ट इज इज क्रिएटेड बाय द स्प्रिंग कंटेनर सो वी हैव टू वर्क विथ सिप रॉकेट अगेन वी हैव टू गो टू द कॉन्टेक्स्ट एंड से यार ए कॉन्टेक्स्ट एप्लीकेशन कॉन्टेक्स्ट आई वॉन्ट द बीन डैट यू आर क्रिएटेड आई वॉन्ट डैट ऑब्जेक्ट विच ऑब्जेक्ट डैट आई डी ऑब्जेक्ट विच आई डी विच आई हैव गिवेन राइट सो इट विल गिव यू राइट नाउ इट विल गिव द ऑब्जेक्ट आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट इन विच टाइप सिप रॉकेट टाइप एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कीप इट विद द सिप रॉकेट सिप रॉकेट वेरिएबल बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू यूज इट फॉर द सो आई वेन आई यूज इट नाउ सिप रॉकेट डॉट डिलीवर ऑर्डर सिप रॉकेट डॉट रिटर्न रिक्वेस्ट रिटर्न ऑर्डर रिटर्न रिक्वेस्ट इट विल वर्क और नॉट यस न लुक एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग ऑर्डर डिलीवरी डिलीवर्ड बाई सी प्रॉकेट और रिटर्न रिक्वेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इज क्रिएटेड एट ऑल्सो एवरी थिंग इज वर्किंग फाइन बट अगेन दिस एप्लीकेशन इज नॉट फुल्ली कपल्ड फुल्ली लूजली कपल्ड बिकॉज अगेन वी हैव टू चेंज दियर राइट ना But let's understand. Let's understand what we will do. What we will do here? I will not use. I will not use this class directly. I can use this logistics company here or not? Because, yar, this is what yar logistics company. I can use here or not? Because uh, if I just saving it inside where? Inside uh, here? Inside. Uh, what I are uh, inside the interface? I we can keep all the things. Then again, we don't need to uh, do whatever, right? So here I will write everything. Logistics company, logistics company equal to context dot get bin. I don't need this. I don't need this right now. I will write what. I will write one bean. First of all, I will change here because I want to just load whatever. So let's say I am writing logistics, logistics, okay, logistics ID, and go to ID here and go to get bean and write logistics, okay, and logistics. Just go to the logistics and change it here, logistics company because interface will come. Not a problem, right? Logistics is coming. I will just remove this and write logistics company. Logistics company dot deliver order. Logistics company dot what? Yeah. Uh, return request or whatever order request. It should work or not? And which class will run? Look here. Which class object is getting created? Bin is created. Sip rocket. So I will go to my run it. Look, ship rocket is getting created. Everything working. Now suppose now ship rocket is on leave. It is holy day for ship rocket. So do your client need to change here? No. Why? Because if he changes just here without touching the source code, he will not change the source code. Just will write the class name like DTD. Say, say bit and just rerun the project. See, see DTD is works or not? Right, na? So have we made na loosely coupled application? So congrats if you understand these things. This is the work of IOC in version of control. This is the bean, and this is the spring bean, whether which I am just describing here. Fine. getting into your head everything got clear fantastic clear with this application context now whenever you see these things line of code you will understand na that oh a spring container object is created oh a spring gate bean it means i am getting to i'm trying to get the bean from that created application context right so these things So fine. This way we can make the our application loosely coupled. Now, if 
every time when you have to change this change the name here and when you change the name here outside your uh, um, XML so you don't need to recompile and rebuild and you just need to restart everything will work change the name and it will work right so now this is the meaning of IOC container and inversion of control and dependency management we are managing dependencies here right this is our first tutorial will you be able to code by yourself okay have uh, do do you did you I, I think uh, what I'm asking do you have ever like know about this before this class about this inversion of control and things happening there 